everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I am feeling incredibly lucky and grateful today because I'm sharing with you some incredible products from a brand I'm sure you've heard of before. Um, the brand is Lemire and I have been sent honestly the most amazing box ever and I cannot wait to share the contents with you. Before I start, I am gonna have to apologize for any background noise. Um, the children in my neighborhood are, for some reason today, making an absolute racket, and I wasn't actually gonna film this morning because the noise outside is so bad, but um, I really want to wear some of the stuff that I've been sent, and I need to film it, and so I will just try my best to edit out as much as I can and film while they're not screaming and charging around outside. <laughs> Another note to make is obviously the reason as to why I have this amazing box sent to me from Lemire. So I was very, very, very lucky to be able to model Lemire with Ringo a couple of months ago in the summer. Um, and this is basically a thank you for from Lemire for, for doing the photo shoot. I basically got given a credit voucher and I could kind of pick what I wanted to obviously spend on my credit voucher. And these are the items that I have decided to go with. I also have some kittens that keep coming up and touching my feet while I'm filming. Um, so if you hear any squeaking, it's the little babies. Oh, and there's their mummy. Oh my goodness, they're all right. They're just having a cuddle. Yes, yes, I know, Gigi. So I will actually insert a clip here of the box because it is so heavy and so big that I can't actually pop it onto my lap to show you how big it is. Um, it took me 10 minutes to get it into my house last night because it was that heavy. Um, honestly, I'm just feeling just so grateful to have been sent everything that I've been sent today. Um, and I just, I cannot wait to be able to wear it and take photos in it and oh my goodness, this is incredible. I really, really hope you enjoy this video. If you are new here, I would be ever so grateful if you were to consider subscribing to my channel, clicking the like button if you did enjoy it and leaving any feedback and any video suggestions in the comment sections down below. And also another very quick side note is Christmas is around the corner. So if you are currently thinking about what you might like for Christmas or starting to write down your Christmas wish list, I will leave every link to every item that I share with you guys today in the description down below. So starting off with item number one, what I'm wearing currently. So this jumper, oh my goodness, is incredible. I saw Ellie, um, Ellie McCarthy, who runs the yard that I keep Ringo at. I saw her wearing it the other day for one of my lessons and I was just fully obsessed. So if you're thinking, oh, I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen this jumper. I haven't seen it on the website either. It would be in fact because this is a man's jumper, but I have picked mine up in an extra small, just so obviously it's nice and snug and looks slightly more feminine on me. Um, but, but this jumper honestly is just incredible. The quality is insane. Um, it is so nice and warm and so soft and snuggly. It also has some lovely Lemire branding as well. So we have some branding here and we also have their logo on the sleeve of the arm as well. And there's some kind of lovely gray knitted stitching around the collar as well and it looks just as lovely done up as what it does undone and yeah I mean this is going to be an app I mean this is going to be an absolute staple in my equine wardrobe and to be honest I'm sure I will wear this a lot away from the stables as well and I am also wearing the navy dynamique I'm pretty sure they're called dynamique uh, or dynamic dynamic might sound better the navy breeches as well with the diamante pockets at the back I will share with you I'll show you guys those at the end of the video um, just because obviously they're on and I'm sat down so you can't really see them but that is what I'm wearing currently for the video that is included in some of the content of what I was sent yesterday so I will now get box and share with you guys some of the amazing stuff I've been sent okay so this is maybe my favorite item in the box Oh my goodness. So this is the fleece jacket. Um, it is in the one of the new colors. I'm pretty sure you pronounce it Rioa. 
Rayoa. I'm pretty sure the J is silent. So I used to think it was Rioja, but um, I was corrected the other day because I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure the J is silent. Um, but this is in that colour. <laughs> um, it is just the most autumnal, most beautiful shade ever, and actually the majority of everything in this haul is in this colour. Um, but this is the fleeced jacket. Now honestly, this is the coziest item I have ever felt in all of my life. It is so fluffy and so warm. I personally ordered two sizes up just so it was slightly more of a comfy fit and I can fit layers on underneath in the winter when it starts to get colder. Um, oh my goodness, this is just insane. Um, Honestly, the noise outside is driving me potty. Um, so, branding wise, it has a lovely hardware on the side here. And it also has the Lemure logo going around the bottom of the jacket and also on the cuffs of the sleeves as well in a very elasticated material. It also has a zip to fasten it up at the front and it has very, very decent sized pockets as well, meaning you'd be able to fit your phone in there, your hands when it's chilly, any snacks, horse treats, etc. And these are also zippable pockets as well, which I find really, really handy. Nothing's going to be falling out even if you're riding and you don't have a phone pocket, let's say, on your, breech on your breeches or leggings. This is honestly an autumn winter staple, in my opinion. The colour is gorgeous. It's going to go with so many different coloured leggings, saddle pads, etc, etc. And oh my goodness, I think I'm going to be literally wearing the hell out of this. So keeping in the same colour scheme, the next item I have is the Law base layer in the Rioa, Rioa, Rioja <laughs> colour. Um, oh my goodness, this is the most gorgeous base layer ever. It also has next to no branding on it as well, which I love because I feel like it looks so smart. They do have the Lemieux logo on the sleeve here, but it is so fine, you, can, you can't really see it that much. And again, on the back of the base layer, I'm Everything about this base layer is incredible. So the how I would describe the material is the perfect autumn winter material. Normally with base layers I find they're quite a shiny material which is fantastic for the warmer months because you know that they're less warm um, and I feel like if you were to wear one of the shiny materials in the winter you might want a thermal layer on underneath perhaps because obviously they're not that thick and being that shiny material when you first put them on they're quite chilly like the material is quite a cold material so this is the absolute opposite to this. It almost feels like a thicker version of a second skin. It is so buttery soft. It's amazing. Um, I love the cut on the neck as well. I just think it's so flattering. Um, this is honestly one of the nicest base layers I think I have ever seen and I honestly cannot wait to wear this this winter. So next up we have a present for Ringo and we have again in the same colour the most gorgeous saddle pad ever. Now I do love the suede saddles, I do love the suede saddle pads but for me the Loire ones, I'm pretty sure again that's how you say it, Lior, Lior, Loire, Loire, I don't know, um, but they are the best saddle pads for me personally. One because I love how beautifully shiny they are. One, because I love how beautifully shiny they are and that really complements Ringo and his coat because he's got such a, a rich, deep and dark, shiny coat naturally that these kind of just shine with him, which I love. Um, and I also love that they're a little bit thicker as well under the saddle, meaning that you're obviously less likely to get any saddle sores and it just makes it a little bit more comfy, I find personally, for him if that's under the saddle with something, you know, a little bit more thick. Um, these are honestly so, so gorgeous. He currently has this in champagne, um, which suits him so well, but I just think this colour is going to go so beautifully with him. And it's just the most autumnal colour, like I just love it. Autumn is my favourite time of year personally, um, and this is this is like my go-to colour. I love a rich and deep burgundy, and oh, this is amazing. So Ringo wears a size small to medium saddle pad, so the smaller size, which is what this is, and yeah, it is it is just perfect. So another Ringo present, obviously to match the saddle pad and my outfit that I'm going to be wearing too. He has the matching ear bonnet, again in the, 
Leo collection, Noir collection, oh my goodness. You're gonna roast me in the comments, I'm sure, and tell me how to properly say it, and I apologize very, very much for not being able to pronounce it. Um, again, the quality of all of the Lumia products are just incredible, you cannot fault them. This ear bonnet is so beautiful, again, with the more shiny material here at the front. He has the smallest sized uh, ear bonnets, and I'm pretty sure it's a medium. Yes, I'm pretty sure that it is a medium that is the smallest that they do in this colour. Um, he has tiny ears so I'm hoping that this is actually going to stay on. I might have to like plait it in or something to keep it on. Um, I did try and buy one for him actually in the summer and he shook it off but I do think one that the um, the musk colour didn't suit him very well and I do feel like this is going to suit him a lot better so I think I'll probably end up keeping it on um, even if it means uh, plaiting it in just to make him look super cute and pretty while I ride him and obviously to have everything matching. <laughs> and of course another Ringo present again Again, in the same colour and in the same Leo collection. <laughs> um, these are the bandages. These are so, so gorgeous. And I cannot wait to see Ringo all dolled up and in his matching outfit. So these are the most stunning, stunning bandages. Again, the satin material, obviously making them shiny and that little bit more bling, in my opinion, which I love. I'm a very glamorous kind of person on the day to day and anything with that extra touch of luxury and glamour, I absolutely adore. So obviously you get four of these because horses have four legs. You can tell I obviously slept really well last night. I really didn't. Um, so yeah, these are, these are gorgeous. Again, like most bandages with velcro fastenings and things like that. These are honestly so, so gorgeous. And as I say, I just, I just cannot wait to see Ringo all in a, uh, in a matching set, matching to his mummy. Um, and I also love that these obviously come in a lovely package as well, which is gonna keep them really nice and tidy in my tack locker, and obviously really easily accessible and really easy to travel with and anything like that as well. So yeah, definitely, definitely love these. I am just going with what I pick out first. So um, I was kind of wanting to do like one item for me, one item for Ringo, but I'm just going in with what I pick out first. So we have another saddle pad here, again in the Lior collection, Lior collection. Um, this is in black. Now I went for the black because I think black is such a versatile colour. It always looks smart and it suits any any clothing colour that you're wearing. I can wear light clothing colours, I can wear dark clothing colours, I can wear more pastel colours. I've got quite a lot of pink training tops and things like that, which again, the black will go with so, so well. Well, this saddle pad is slightly different. It has the extra kind of, it has the extra foam here. It was kind of, I feel like this is to just keep the saddle back and in, in place better as well. Um, and again, just offer that extra little bit of padding and support on the horse's withers and shoulders. Um, this again is in the size small to medium as that is what fits little Ringo the best. Um, again, I cannot fault the quality. It is just incredible as always with Lemure. And it's just such a smart saddle pad. And as I say, black is such a versatile color. It will suit any colored horse as well. And as I say, always, always looks super smart. So I'm now back with another item for myself. And this is actually something that I didn't see last year with Lumia. So whether it's a new product, I think it is. Um, this is the Roll Neck Base Layer. Now, I tried this on this morning to say I was impressed. Oh my goodness, I would wear this away from the stables and to the stables and to ride in. This is so seriously smart, so comfortable. Much like the other base layer I showed you earlier, it just feels like a very, it's quite a thick material, not a thick, thick material, but a thick material, but so buttery soft, it's like a second skin, just as I said earlier, that little bit thicker, which is obviously going to keep you so nice and warm in the winter. Oh, I just, I just love this. Um, it looks so lovely and flattering on. Obviously having the roll neck is going to keep your neck that little bit, that little bit warmer. And sometimes I feel like with base layers, especially if I'm, I don't know, sometimes I can feel like slightly claustrophobic if they're, if they're done up with, with the zip. Whereas obviously with this, it's nice and soft around your neck. So you're not going to get that kind of, um, like choked feeling while if, while obviously having the zip done up, especially if you don't want the, the wind going, obviously like further down here with the zip undone in the winter because that wind is bitterly cold. Um, these are honestly amazing. And again, I think I forgot to say with the base layer too, the other base layer, um, these also have the thumb, the thumb holes as well, obviously just keeping everything in place. It obviously means your sleeves won't be rolling up or down and just offers that extra little bit of support. Um, yeah, I am fully, fully obsessed. 
So the next item here is the Black Freya breeches. These are so, so gorgeous. And actually for the price, I think these are an absolute bargain for the quality. I'm pretty sure these are about 79 pounds, which for a decent pair of breeches is so, so good. Um, these are so lovely. They are so flattering. They have a full sticky bum, which I love. I have to have something with either sticky knees or, is it, I don't know if you call it sticky or grippy, like a knee grip or a full grip. I can't remember. But anyway, the terminology will come to me, I'm sure. Um, but I I love something that's just going to help keep my seat in the saddle and keep my position that much better. I have lots of other leggings that don't offer this and however much I still love them, um, my new saddle is very very shiny and slippery and especially while I was trying to make Ringo a lot more balanced in his canter, I was kind of feeling like I was being like thrown around the saddle quite a lot. Um, whereas if I'm wearing something sticky um, or grippy, however you say it or whatever the best way, whatever the best way is to say it, I stay stuck in that saddle and I stay in the correct position and it just it just again offers that extra bit of support these do come up kind of medium to high waisted which again is very nice and very flattering they've got belt loops as well so you can attach a belt here too i stuck to my regular size and they fit perfectly i've tried other brands and i've had to size one or two up whereas i would say that lemure in all of their sizings actually are very true to size um, these are gorgeous they have great pockets as well so they don't have pockets down the leg but these pockets in here are so great like my whole arm has pretty much disappeared in this pocket which is fantastic for holding your phone keys anything else like that that you need to keep in your pockets I feel like pockets are the biggest thing for me when choosing items because I like to carry things around with me sometimes and you know I like having things like places to put things even my hands sometimes like I like to put my hands in my pockets especially when it gets colder so these are a great purchase and oh I love them so the next thing that I got is some black riding gloves. Just waiting for the noise outside to, to die down a little bit. Oh my God, I love children, but oh my God, this is really testing me this morning. <laughs> Um, so the next thing that I got were some black riding gloves. So I'll take these out of the package. Now, I usually wear all of my gloves in a size small, however, I actually ordered these in a medium because actually in the winter, sometimes it's nice just having that extra bit of room to keep the warmth circulation kind of going around in your fingers when it gets really seriously cold. So these are the Pro Touch Classic Riding Gloves, and as I say, they're in black and in a size medium. These are honestly the best riding gloves I've, I've tried. Um, I love them. Uh, I love the Lemire Riding Gloves. They're such a classic design. They look, as I say, as I say with the black, with the with the saddle pad, they go with any colours um, and they just always look super super smart and they really protect your hands. Ringo can get quite strong and um, every now and then, especially if he's finding a session or let's say a lesson a little, a little bit more difficult, he will become a little bit more strong just where he's not that balanced at the moment and isn't that strong yet. Obviously he will get there but obviously we're starting pretty much at the bottom again after having a few years off for both of us um, and so when he does start to get slightly unbalanced he gets a lot stronger stronger and I, I do notice if I'm not wearing the correct gloves that my hands do get sore and sometimes my fingers can blister. I never ever find that when I'm wearing the Lemure riding gloves. I just find the quality is so amazing and it really does protect my hands and my fingers. So the next item is another present for Ringo and this is the Rioja? Rioja? Coloured um, fleeced rug. This is so beautiful. It also has a faux fur trim around the neckline. I'm not, um, but this is honestly gorgeous. It's perfect for those mornings when he isn't quite going out in the field yet and he's going on the horse walker or if, or if he's going in the horse walker in the afternoon, if he's travelling to and from a show, if he's just been bathed just to put it on the top or obviously as well when it gets a lot colder in the winter if I do end up clipping him. To be honest, Ringo does usually keep the most amazing coat even in the winter but he's a lot more in work now so whether it, I come to clipping him obviously if it's really really cold in the mornings especially like when you're first starting to warm them up it's something that I can pop over the top of us to keep us both warm this is honestly amazing and it's one of those things that I would personally be putting quite high up on my Christmas list if I was looking for a fleecy rug and especially in this color it's just such a it's just such a luxury color I feel like it's just such a deep that deep gorgeous burgundy color which I just feel like it just looks just 
it's just so luxurious so I fully recommend this rug. Now the next item is another Ringo present however I do think this one might have to go back just because this is the smallest sized travel boots they do and I do think they're going to be far too big on Ringo. So these are the travel boots and they're in the colour navy. I'll get them out and show you because honestly if you've got a slightly bigger horse the design on these oh my god they are insane. Um, I just think Ringo's little dinky feet are going to be um, too too small for these. So this is the boot. This is obviously one of the front uh, one of the front legged boots. They're just incredible. I mean, this goes right. And it sits obviously pretty much covering the whole the whole leg and near enough the hooves as well. Um, they're just such a beautifully designed travel boot. Um, if I show you them undone. So this is the inside, the padding is, oh my goodness, like you can tell that the horse's legs are going to be so protected when traveling in these, there will be no need to worry whatsoever. The padding is just, it's such a soft cushion, it's amazing. Also is leather trimmed at the bottom. Now I'm not sure whether it's real leather or faux leather, however the quality is incredible. Um, and again, but as I say, these are the most beautifully designed travel boots ever. Also, it's so typical, just as I'm like near enough at the end, not quite at the end, but near enough at the end of this haul, the children have all gone away and there's, there's no more screaming, it's so typical. Um, but yeah, as I say, I do think these are sadly gonna have to go back because I do think these are going to absolutely swamp Ringo's legs, unfortunately, but they are so, so gorgeous and I cannot recommend these enough. So the next item that we have, Again, I feel like you've got, I feel like we have a bit of a theme going here and I feel like we can all tell that I love this new colour. Um, but again, in the Rioja colour, um, we have the new hoodie. Now this again is just gorgeous. Look how fluffy the hood is. How warm, cosy and snuggly does this look? Again, I feel like this is definitely a Christmas wish list item. So again, when it comes to Lemure, you always can guarantee incredible quality. I love the logo design on the front of this hoodie as well. I think it's so smart and obviously you can definitely always tell where it is from. Um, they do have pockets as well, which obviously if you're looking at this from uh, this point of view and on the website, I didn't think that it had pockets. However, they have these really cool hidden pockets here. Now, I have the the sage, no not the sage, I have the musk kind of version of this with the more shiny logo on the front from the spring and summer collection and again they have these hidden pockets that go all the way through so your hand can kind of come out the other side whereas these ones are kind of closed off but I can still fit my hand in there and I think it would probably still fit my phone in there if I wanted it to. This is honestly the most amazing quality, again it's going to keep you that, that, that little bit warmer this autumn winter and just be that extra bit of a layering piece. I sized up in mine um, and I would obviously, I and again I do personally recommend recommend sizing up in items like this because it means that you can fit extra layers on underneath if you wanted to and it's just that bit of extra easy wearing you know there is nothing worse than wearing comfy loungewear that's tight you know when you're wearing loungewear or you're wearing comfortable wear you want it to be really soft and you know just easy to wear and you want to want to put it on because it's comfortable um, but again this is something that you can wear to the stables and away from the stables it's something that you can go to the cinema in or you know go for a more relaxed dinner in go for walks in, go to the shops in, anything like that. It's a very, very versatile piece that you can get a lot of wear out of and obviously then get a lot of wear for your money too. So yes, definitely another item that I would fully recommend. Not that I wouldn't recommend anything. Um, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a really bad job of like helping you guys pick what to take from this video because everything is just so amazing. So we've actually come to the last item in this haul, other than the breeches that I'm wearing that I'll show you guys in a second. So this is kind of taking away from the colour theme. I've gone for a different colour here, I know. Who am I and what is wrong with me? So I have gone for, again, the word that I just don't know how to say, the Loire collection. Maybe it's Loire. Loire? God, someone's going to have to put it in the comment section down below and literally like spell it out how you say it for me, just so I don't make a fool of myself again. Um, but I have the same, uh, I have the same base layer as I did at the beginning of the video, this time in the colour oak. Now I cannot miss say the word oak, so finally I've got a colour that I can pronounce. Um, but again, this is the most gorgeous, 
Again, this is the most gorgeous base layer ever. The quality is incredible. It's such a lovely layering piece for the, for the autumn and the winter. Again, it's something that you can fit a, for example, a hoodie on over the top. They have this in all of the colors that I have pretty much shown you guys today as well in the oak color. Oak, I feel like it's going to also suit so many different colored horses and different colored haired people as well. It's such a versatile color to wear. I'm pretty sure actually green is the color of the autumn winter this year. Like I, I feel like wherever I'm looking, there's so much green coming out. So it's also a very trendy piece as well. So yeah, I did buy the oak as a little bit of a wild card just to see if it suited me and whether I thought that it suited Ringo. And while I was deciding on which color I preferred, I, I did, my heart did just go for the Rioja, Rioa, Rioa. That the the, the more burgundy colour, um, and so I thought actually if I just buy the the oak base layer, it would actually match the black breeches and the black saddle pad a lot better um, than me buying maybe the colour oak and it not matching Ringo as well as the other colour would. Um, however, I think I do love it, and I do think I want the whole matching set as well. That might be something that I put onto my Christmas list. Simply love it, just as always with everything with Lemire. The quality is incredible and. This is just going to look so beautiful on. And the last item in this haul, potentially the nicest breeches I have ever owned. And I am like genuinely hand on heart being like fully serious. They are so soft, they almost feel like leggings, even though they are a breeches material. They are so comfortable. Like I could actually almost wear these as loungewear. They are so high-waisted and, and so flattering from behind. I do actually struggle sometimes to find breeches that are flattering, especially like on the bum area. Some of them kind of like eat your bum, if that makes sense, and make them look quite flat and pancake-ish, whereas these honestly do not do that. And the best part about them, for any glamorous equines like myself, you have the Diamante pockets here. Now, these are honestly, oh my God, so beautiful. And under here, we have some zipped pockets. Now the pockets aren't that deep but you can fit some, you can definitely fit some bits and pieces behind there if you wanted to. Um, but these are honestly, oh my god, the nicest breeches. I don't think, did I just say that they were super high waisted? If I didn't say they were super high waisted, they are super high waisted. Again, they have the full gripped bum too in the Lemure logo, so the little box with the tick in. Um, I'm hoping the camera is picking that up but if it isn't then that is what the like sticky um, logo thing is. I'm pretty sure with the Freya, let me find those. So with the Freya, they are actually, um, they're bits, so like snapper bits or whatever, for example. Um, that is what the little logo is on the sticky things here. Um, whereas with these ones, it is the Lemure logo. So again, unmistakably Lemure. Um, I did actually for my photo shoot, and I don't think I'm putting any spoilers out here because I'm pretty sure I saw them on the website. I'll double check before I put this little bit live. But they also have these in white, which, oh my God, Again, so flattering and perfect for competitions, whether that's dressage, uh, show jumping, anything like that. They are the nicest white joppers I've ever, ever found. Um, and I'm pretty sure I wore these in the photo shoot as well. If anybody's wondering when the photos are coming out, um, I actually shot some of the spring, summer, next, so spring, summer 2022's collection. So none of that will actually be coming out now until next year, unfortunately. Um, but I'm pretty sure I wore these for something as well, I think. I can't remember, I'm pretty sure I've worn these before in a photo shoot, which I'm, think, I'm pretty sure is why I've gone for them, I think. I can't quite remember, um, my memory isn't actually that good. But um, these are honestly, oh my god, the most incredible breeches ever. These are something that you definitely, definitely want on your Christmas wish list, or if you've got a birthday coming up before Christmas, these are something that you definitely want in your basket. I'm pretty sure they're £99.95, so £100 rounded up. Um, I feel like they're worth every penny. I'm pretty sure they're going to wash well. I found that anything else that I've bought from Lemieux in the past has always washed really well. So they're going to hold their value. You're gonna be able to wear so much of them. Navy, as I say, is very similar to black. It's very, very versatile. Um, and something that you can get a lot of wear out of. So I fully, fully recommend. 
So guys, that does conclude today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it really put you in that autumn winter mode. Bonus points if you watch this with a hot chocolate and some candles burning. As I said at the beginning of this video, if you were looking to shop anything, everything is in the description box, as in all of the links to everything will be in the description box. I wear everything, well, I mainly wear everything in a size eight, some things I've ordered in a size 10, and the, the fleece jacket and the hoodie I ordered in a size 12, so two sizes above my regular size, just so it's an extra bit cozy, as I said before, um, and that little bit more kind of like lounge wearing, and obviously then you can fit more layers underneath when the temperatures are like really, really seriously dry and kind of go below zero. It might not feel like it's coming yet, but it will be. <laughs> we'll all be complaining it's too cold very, very soon. So as I said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did, and I really, really hope to see you watching my next video. Have a good day.